Hey guys, welcome back to Aussie Arrangements. This week we're going to talk about positive versus negative reinforcement. So get ready to unwind and learn how to teach your dog right from wrong. First time pet owners are always looking for the best way to teach your dog new tricks or how to correct their bad behavior. This brings up the question, do I use negative or positive reinforcement? When I first got Dash, I tried my best to teach him some basic tricks. So far, he knows sit, paw, and jump. Although these tricks may seem easy to teach, trust me, it took longer than you would think for him to really get them down. On my journey to teach Dash these basic commands, I researched the best ways to make sure he understood me. Some people share the misconception that negative reinforcement, like hitting your dog or shock collars, will help with training your new puppy, but it actually does the opposite. This method actually teaches your dog to fear you and gives them unnecessary anxiety. If you're looking to teach your dog to be your best friend, negative reinforcement should definitely be avoided. On the other hand, positive reinforcement, like giving your dog a treat when they do something right or just giving your dog a loving hug, will motivate them to have better behavior. Since most dogs are food motivated, it's always best to carry kibble or treats around with you to reward them when they follow your rules. In fact, studies have found that people who use reward-based training methods report their dogs as being more obedient than those who use adversive techniques. Some people might ask, when do I stop rewarding good behavior? The answer is, if you don't want to always reward your dog, you should implement an intermittent reinforcement schedule. All this means is you only reward their behavior sometimes. This also makes the most sense since you won't always be carrying treats on you. If you do this method, just don't forget to reward their good behavior because by forgetting to reward them, all you're doing is undoing all the work you've already taught them. Your dog will need consistent brain exercises in order for your training to stick. So as a little bonus, I'm going to show you guys how I use Dash's treats to motivate him to do some tricks. Alright guys, so I'm just going to teach you how I've taught Dash some simple commands. So as you can tell, as soon as I take out the treats, he's already sitting. So I'm going to skip the sit command. Ready? Paw. Good boy. And jump. <laughs> there you go. He's so, so cute. And he is so food oriented. So these uh, duck treats that I get from BarkBox every month are a great, great trick to teaching him these simple commands. So hopefully you guys can learn a thing or two from this and teach your dog some cool new tricks. Keep in mind while teaching your dog new tricks to always tell them they're being a good girl or a good boy. That way they can associate that phrase with their good behavior. Also, don't feel defeated if your dog doesn't get these tricks down at first, because it really does take time for them to understand what you're asking of them. Now go out there and use positive reinforcement to teach your dog right from wrong. Hope to see you next week and have fun training your dog with these tips. Bye!